You can tell what type of timing a character is going to be on based on how they're first introduced to the show. You knew Ash was going to be a knuckleheaded dumbass because he slept in on the most important morning of his life. You knew Gary was a pimp because he had a Porsche and a cheerleading squad at the age of 10. And now you can go ahead and tell me what we learned about this character based on this scene. La -dee -da -dee -da. Wow, I just won my battle. Fucking hell, I'm sick. What in the world was all that about? What was what all about? He didn't do anything! All this nigga had to do was walk by Barry minding his own business, going to his own battle, and Barry felt threatened. This is an S rank threat. This immense aura that we're dealing with here is that of Tobias, the man who swept the Sinnoh League, including our boy Ash, with his dark cry. And this is how. This scene is during the first round of the Lily Valley Conference. They don't show Tobias' first round battle, but we assume Barry stuck around to watch. Cause as soon as it finished, my guy does the dash to warn Don and Brock, like this is an Amber Alert. He storms in like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Barry, calm your dramatic ass down. Ash is in a battle. Calm down. Calm down. Did y'all know a motherfucking dark cry was in this bitch? What you mean a dark cry? Nigga, the god of nightmares. I just seen bro in a red cloak with one eye covered sweep his first round. The crowd couldn't believe it. And I'm sat there watching like, bro, I'm right with this nigga, bro. Like, I'm scared and intimidating too. But then he just had to say this. I just saw the most incredible trainer ever. Bro, even at nine years old, I knew this nigga was glazing for that shit, bro. Like, come on, dog. Show some fucking spine. Brock lets Ash know afterwards that there's a powerful trainer with a dark ride. And Ash treated the situation with no urgency, man. I kid you not, this man was like, hey, 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 I'm excited. Ooh, man, if I was there, I would have shook that nigga at the shoulders, bro. Is you not listening? A oh, dark ride, my nigga. The god of nightmares. Look at him on the two be continued page talking about i'm excited do you got a humiliation kick go call professor oak and start talking tactics matter of fact who do you even have that'll check him Rock! in the next episode everybody pulls up to this computer lab and well 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 if it isn't paul searching up information on barry for their upcoming round two battle and barry's like wait paul are you like googling me uh yeah see i told ya he sees me as a threat Listen here, you loudmouth little bitch. Searching you up before my battle is no different to searching up the best insect killer before removing a fly. Your naivety to simple battle research further cements how horribly I'm gonna beat you. Hey, whoa, 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 relax, dude. This battle will be fun. I don't care what you say. Oh, it'll be fun, all right. After that, Barry's trying to search up Paul's data, and Ash is trying to search up Conway's data, who's his next opponent. And I'm like, can somebody please search up the fucking Giga Threat with the Dark Rye? And there go that creep ass nigga Conway answering my request. <laughs> didn't see y'all there. You guys know how Tobias only used Darkrai for the first round? Uh, yeah. Well, he did the same to every gym leader. I know Pikachu was stressing. Bro was like, bro, we lost the two. What you mean he only used Darkrai? And that's all the backstory we get on him. I'm not kidding. Ash beats Conway in the next round, and then Paul in the quarterfinals, which we covered in the last video. And then they show the semifinal matchup. Tobias just looks at it stone cold and walks off. And I'm honestly surprised he even stuck around. Like, he got no adjustments to make. He going for that dark cry every single time. Then they show Ash's reaction, and oh, wow, now he's intense. Now he's scared. You were gonna have to face him eventually, bro. Where was this seriousness at when you were warned? Okay, let's just get into the battle. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... For our semi-final match between Tobias and Ash Ketchum. Brace yourself, folks. It will get ugly. I feel like Brock is the most level-headed, so he knew that she was gonna get wicked. The ref invites both trainers to send out their first Pokemon, and I wonder who Tobias is leading with. Shocker. Dark Grind, the pitch black Pokemon. This Pokemon puts its enemies to sleep and is fucking broken! It's fucking broken! Run! Your boy is cooked! It's typically active during a new moon. And who does Ash send out? Yes, yes, yes! A bug type and a fighting type, let's go! Ref said Ash got the first move, I'm thinking, okay, close combat, mega horn, easy! Heracross, use Hyper Beam now! He's finished. <laughs> He's finished, man. I spoke too soon. I know the games ain't the same as the anime, but come on, man. Dark Guy then responds with Ice Beam and the two moves clash. Ash then follows up with Horn Attack. And here I have to pause the episode. We brought an AK-47 to the fight. Why are we shooting rubber pellets? We don't got time for the long game, brother. Whip out those super effective moves. This Dark Guy is undefeated in every battle until now. Let's let him cook, though. Tobias responds with Dark Void and puts Heracross fast to sleep. And they show Ash here, and I'm like, oh, okay, so we didn't even look at the scouting report. We don't even know what a dark cry is okay okay and then ash commands this heracross sleep talk and i'm like all right let me shut my dumb ass up and let the professionals do their job because that was phenomenal 
and boom! He rolled Mega Horn, and we get the first bit of damage in on a super effective move. Even Brock was like, oh my god, he's cooking. But Tobias brought me back to reality real quick when he instructed Dream Eater. I can say with full confidence that this is the hardest this Heracross has ever been hit. I have never seen Bro's eyes look like this. And if this wasn't deflating enough, Tobias then says this. You'll need more than a type advantage to beat my Darkrai. I'm like, fucking hell, man. We're finished, aren't we? Even Pikachu was in shock. Nigga was like, hey. Hey coach, you know that frost last from last round? Hey man, it did kind of do a number on me. Maybe I should sit this one out. Meanwhile, Team Rocket take this opportunity to get a bag. Crowds flocking, looking for Darkrai merch. Man, y'all on Darkrai dick. Y'all was just glazing Ash. This is a snack bar. What Darkrai merch could they possibly have? Ash then sends out his next Pokemon. At this point, I understand he's bringing in Pokemon from previous regions. So I'm kind of thinking in my head, who could he possibly send out? Darko, I choose you! Oracle Tour! To many of you, this may seem like just a mid selection, but to me, this is the embodiment of a face palm. And let me show you why. These are all the Pokemon that Torkoal has battled since joining Ash. He won some of the ones you'd expect him to handle Norman Slackoth, this random Scizor, Shiftry. He technically drew against Astropius. So, what about the rest? He lost! Look at this battle against Vigoron. He got one shot by Scratch. Charmander's use Scratch. Sandshrews use Scratch. You and I could probably use Scratch. But something he does bring to the table is legendary experience. Not winning experience, but I ain't hating. So Ash commands Flamethrower and Tobias reveals Darkrai's final move. We've seen Ice Beam, Dark Void, and Dream Eater. And the last one is... Now, use Dark Pulse! I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. Torkoal is a dancer. He's a soccer player. He's even kind of a swimmer. He is not a fighter. I could have sent an actual turtle into battle and it would have been the same effect. You're staring up, but bro, like, it's cool, dog. We just not built for this. It's okay. I hear Unova got great architecture. Ash sends out his next Pokemon, Gibble. I kind of fuck with Gibble. All I really know is that he bites ah! niggas and spams Draco Meteor. A simple creature, and I fuck with simple. We did just see Ice Beam, so that's dangerous, but let's see what happens. Tobias asks Darkrai to get in close, and Ash responds with Rock Smash. I'm feeling like, good move, good move. Tobias then predictably instructs Ice Beam, but Gibble's quick on his feet. Then Gibble whips out his signature move, Draco Meteor. Up goes the move, and it starts showering the arena. Tobias simply uses the most broken move in anime. Dodge it! That shit is like a fifth move, and oh my god, is it reliable. Look! The Dark Knight then follows up with Dark Pulse, and fucking hell, man. Two for two? This is getting bad, folks. Jesse even chimed in like, Hey guys, is it just me or is Dark Riot really strong? Yo, Jesse, with all due respect, keep some of those fucking concessions and shut the fuck up with that Patrick Star shirt you got on. You stated the obvious right now and it's pissing me off. I know it was getting really bad when even Meowth was like, Dark Riot ain't break a sweat. The twerp better lock in or else. <laughs> Meowth, that's right. And Jesse's like, Nigga, that's been our off for like four regions. Since when did you switch sides? And Meowth's like, Well, Jessica, let me spell it out for you. The twerp's been beating the shit out of us for 657 episodes and counting. If he's getting dogged this bad, what does that make us? We're worse than garbage. Not gonna lie, he making good points. Ash returns Gibble and Tobias hits him with some condescending bullshit. Ash, I'm simply must give credit where credit is due. That Draco Meteor from your Gibble would have defeated any Pokemon. Well, except for my Darkrai, of course. This is the most backhanded shit I've ever heard in my life. He basically saying that even if we didn't dodge that Draco Meteor, it wouldn't have been enough. I can't lie, if your opponent starts saying shit like this, I'm telling you, you lost before the battle even began. Ash then says, We're just getting started! Okay, let's not lie now. You down 3-0, we is not just getting started. The next Pokemon is Sceptile. I'm like, finally! A real nigga finally entered the battle. Darkrai begins with Ice Beam and Sceptile dodges with Quick Attack. Right as Sceptile was sent out, Brock started yapping about how Sceptile speed was going to give it the advantage. So you can imagine my shock when Tobias' sadistic ass looks at this bullet of a grass type and says, Dodge it. Dog, this dude is smiling right now. Ash is like, we missed? Use Leaf Storm. Tobias then responds with another Ice Beam. I'm like, dog. To my surprise, Sceptile didn't instantly get knocked out. Tobias then says, Your plan to overpower my Darkrai isn't going to work. Now, Dark Void! I'm like, fuck. Tobias then hits him with the Dark Void and Sceptile gets knocked out cold. Ash dumbass trying to wake him up by calling his name. Brother, he is counting Wooloo right now. Save your breath, my nigga. Darkrai then hits him with the Dream Eater combo and basically put bro in again, Jutsu. Look at him, tripping left and right. And I'm over here thinking, what could Sceptile possibly be having a nightmare about? And then it hit me. 
Back in Hoenn when he was still a Grovile, he got into a scrap with Atropius after getting too close to his tree. Atropius then proceeded to beat his ass to a pulp, like, oh my god, look at this! This is a massacre! He woke him so bad that Nurse Roy had to send out a Meganium to defend Grovile from getting sent to the Gulag. The lasting damage was enough to send Grovile to the Pokemon Center, where Nurse Roy instructed that same Meganium to heal him. That medical service must have been gas as hell, because believe it or not, Grovile fell in love. He was so in love that the twig in his mouth sprouted a flower. Is this nigga bricked? Ash and everyone decide to leave Grovile to rest, but that's the last thing Grovile wants to do. He just got his ass beat in front of his crush. That's like everybody's worst nightmare, so he knows he needs to spin the block and get his get back. He steps to Tropius for round two, but shit just started sad because Tropius was just beating the shit out of bro again. Grovile then glances over to the flower in his mouth and remembers what he's fighting for. This simp ass nigga got so inspired that he runs up a tree, hits bullet seed, jumps off, and follows up with a leaf blade finally taking it down. And like clockwork. Who was there on the sidelines? But Meganium. Oh my gosh, what a Cinderella story. He got his get back and now he's about to get his girl. This is straight out of a Disney movie. Love is in the air. I could tear up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! Oh my god, my chest! Oh my god! I just fell to my knees, bro. Oh my god. He went soft! Look! Ah, bro, if this is what he saw in that dream, fuck sending him to Professor Oak. Send him to therapy! Luckily, Ash got the power of friendship and plot on his side, so he begs him to wake up and it actually works. And look how shook Tobias is. He's clearly never seen nothing like this before. While he's stunned, Septile leaps forward for two quick leaf blades and oh my lord, Darkrai is actually defeated. Even the announcer was surprised. He was like, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, in Pokemon history, Darkrai has been defeated. Everybody in the crowd is getting gas, but Brock had to bring us back to reality, Tombo. Calm y'all asses down. It might be impressive, but Gloomy Red Riding Hood over here still got five months. Can't lie, that shit wiped the smile straight off my face, but he right. Ash cocky ass saying, heh heh, bring it on, who's next? <laughs> You've done well, little one. I forgot what my Darkrai looks like fainting. <laughs> to think I'll have to use my second Pokemon. It's been so long, I may have forgotten its name. <laughs> Just kidding. Be free! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go home, man. Aladios, my nigga. I need this dude Tobias investigated immediately. I need birth certificate, every report card of his academic career, upbringing, everything. What turned this trainer into a generational threat? Because this is some shit I ain't seen since I had my action replay. And look at the way Latios stepped into battle. He flew through the middle of Ash and Pikachu and hit a 365 times. Even Pikachu was tripping like, like nigga, hold on, okay, bring that dark ride back. At least Tebow gonna do something to him. Latios, the Eon Pokemon. Latios can travel faster than a jet in this Definitely gonna beat that septile ass. Brock's there like, yo, what the fuck is good with this nigga? Who hurt, bro? I get rejected on the daily and you don't see me getting no dark cry. The most I gotta deal with is Krogunk fisting my- Ow, oh, okay, yo. Pause, bro. Hey guys, don't lose hope. Septile is super fast and won't lose. Yo, Barry, not gonna lie. Don't act like this nigga Tobias didn't have you pissing yourself in a hallway. He was just on that nigga dick talking about the most incredible trainer you've ever seen. Don't switch sides now. Matter of fact, since you love yapping so much, I got a girl that'd love to meet you. There, I now pronounce you husband and wife, bitch. Septile goes for a leaf blade and Latios responded with a big impact and you can guess what happened. Yeah, barbecue chicken alert. I ain't got nothing to say. Septile, you did your job. Good shit. And next up, we got Swallow. Okay, if my math don't deceive me, Swallow is his fifth Pokemon. Does anyone doubt that this six is gonna be the little yellow rat that ain't closed his mouth all battle? My fault, Pikachu. I'm heated. So, 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 so where are the rest of the hitters? Snorlax, Staraptor, Glalie, Charizard? Bro, even the guys that battled Paul. I get it. They're tired. It was a great scuffle. But I've seen Nurse Joyce do more in less time, bruh. The semis ain't the time for load management. Let's get to it. Swallow uses quick attack and surprise surprise Latios dodges. Latios then chases around Swallow in the sky and Ash then asks Swallow to fly high up into the air and then use gravity to help him hit a mean aerial ace. Tobias then instructs Latios to use Luster Virgin. Oh my god, bruh. Bruh! Swallow out too. Not gonna lie, any happiness I felt after the Dark Ride knockout has just been deflated. 
Ash is losing hope. Team Rocket is losing hope. Ash's friends are actually not losing hope, surprisingly. Ash, you can win! Man, I know Pikachu is him, but let's be for real, dude. I must say you battled well so far. You've earned my respect. But this is our last bout. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm winning this for sure. That's good. Let's do our best. Bro really turned around his hat, dog. You have never done that outside catching a Pokemon, bro. We know you get in desperate. Pikachu started off with a quick attack and Latios dodged it. Pikachu then followed up with a Volt Tackle and Latios responded with Giga Impact. Latios uses Giga Impact again and Pikachu tries to Iron Tail it. Bro, we just saw Volt Tackle not work. Latios then ascends up, then blocks as it's using Luster Purge. And this is when I think Ash realized that we ain't winning this shit, but I'm leaving here with something. Pikachu, fuck it. Jump on Latios. And that's what he did. Then Ash just gets straight to spamming T-Bolt. Tobias tries to shake him off, but Pikachu riding for his dear life like we on a mechanical bull. Lydus then uses the light screen, and honestly, I'm like, bro, you've never even had to use more than a dark card before. In what world do you need to set up screens with Latios? Wetty ass! Tobias keeps trying to get Latios to shake, but Ash got Pikachu holding on like his career depends on it. Tobias then goes, Latios, you little peasant! Ascend and let's get this over with! My brother, you are up five Pokemon to one. The trophy is already in your hands. You might as well skip the Elite Four and battle Cynthia tomorrow. Show some damn composure. Finally, Ladio shakes off Pikachu about 500 feet in the air and then descends. And I'm like, eh, I guess we're just gonna let him fall or something. But nah, Tobias is a sore loser, I'm telling you. He said catch Pikachu's fall with Luster Purge. But Ash took this opportunity to teach us a life lesson. There is nothing more dangerous than a man with nothing to lose. Cause bro looked down the barrel of this legendary signature move and said, Pikachu, use Volt Tackle. And listen to this nigga go, pika 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 He riding it like a damn wave. And look at this crispy ass animation. And then mid move, he switches to Iron Tail. And boom! The smoke clears, the crowd looking over like what happened? Y'all know what happened, let's be for real. Both of these dudes was knocked out cold. And that was the match. Paul was steady watching the whole shit. He really lucky his ass stayed silent, cause if for one minute he thought he would've won that shit, I would've had to bring receipts from the last time he faced the legendary. Ash congratulates Tobias on the win, to which Tobias says, Oh, thank you sir, you are a worthy opponent. Oh, now we wanna be calm. Don't act like your ass wasn't just sweating, my nigga. And the next scene is Tobias, unsurprisingly, winning the finals against this motherfucker. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Another playoff exit. Better luck next season. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below or on the community post what you want to see next. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the necklace of Frank.